in just a moment to fill out one of the blue visitor's cards, pass those towards the center aisle. We'll have the ushers come around in just a second to pick those up. We'll be meeting again Sunday morning at 9 o'clock for Bible study, 10 a.m. for worship service, so please join us if you can. On the sick list, continue to remember Tom Horn. Uh, Tim mentioned tonight in, in the uh, Bible class in here that Tom was actually eating a little bit of food, so uh, a little bit of an improvement, so uh, continue to pray for Tom. Also remember Joe Kilpatrick. The uh, Vacation Bible School is coming up next month. There's a sign-up sheet out in the foyer. If you can support that activity, please do. Also out in the foyer is a sign-up sheet for the National Deaf Christian Workshops. Um, some help still needed for those activities, so please support that if you can. The Song of Invitation tonight is number 53. 53. Corey Robinson will lead our closing prayer. We'll turn it over to Tyler. Good evening, everyone. I uh, hope you've had a wonderful week so far. It's good to see everyone out here to, uh, this evening. Um, you probably wonder where I've been at for the, I guess, about the, uh, the last, I guess it's two years now on Sunday mornings. Well, I'll let you know I've been seeing a, a young lady up in, up in Tennessee. She's my fiancé now. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and uh, so I go to church with her on Sundays. We go to worship service and Bible studies. And... and um, Last quarter, we were in a, um, or I was in a biblical finance class, and it was a pretty interesting class. It, it taught biblical principles for, um, you know, earthly finances. But it really got me thinking um, about being prepared, you know, not only for earthly things, but also heavenly things. And one of the biblical examples I can think of is Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 through 13. We read about the, the ten young women who showed up to the, um, the coming of the bridegroom. And, of course, five of those women were prepared. They had their, their uh, lamp oil. But, of course, five were not. They had to go out into the streets, into the marketplaces. They had to uh, search and uh, get some more. And, of course, we all know the story. They come back. The doors are shut. They're locked out. They're not allowed to go inside. The broom, uh, bridegroom has already come, and they're on the other side of the door. They were not prepared of the foolishness. Um, you know, in my own personal life, I've been trying to do my best to uh, prepare for retirement. Um, you know, I'm still pretty young, but uh, of course the funny thing about retirement is you can't wait to the last two years and expect your retirement to grow. You have to prepare and you have to prepare early. Uh, same thing can be said about our, our young kids that have just graduated high school, graduated college. You don't walk in the day of a final exam and expect to make an A. Or at least I wouldn't. You know, I'm, I'm a pretty good student, but I'm not that good. You know, I really had to pay attention. I had to uh, take good notes in class. I had to do, uh, try to do well on my homework assignments. And also, plan the days prior and a lot of times minutes prior to the exam uh, if I expected to do well. And the same thing goes with our Christian lives. You know, you have to prepare and you have to plan. We may not get a second chance uh, to prepare for, uh, you know, before we pass from this earth. In Mark chapter 13, verse 25, we read, But about that day or hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard. Be alert. You do not know when that time will come. It's like a man going away. He leaves his house and puts his servants in charge, each with their assigned task, and tells the one at the door to keep watch. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back, whether in the evening or at midnight or when the rooster crows or at dawn. If he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to everyone. Watch. You know, at work, um, when we're starting new projects, especially those that we know we're going to have problems with, we always try to have a plan. We first try to uh, identify the, the uh, potential problems, then we come up with a plan, and then we execute that plan. But what we also do is we try to have what's known as a milestone review along the way. And what that does is it allows us to go back and make sure we're 
we're staying on track. You know, we're going to we're going to solve those problems. We're going to stay within budget. We're going to stay within schedule. And we're going to meet that goal. You know, all of us as Christians, we have a goal. Our goal is to to be in heaven with our Father one day. And you can't meet that goal unless you're unless you're prepared. Unless you're staying on track, unless you're doing the things that uh, that God wants you to do to, and live your life right. You know, we, uh, we don't want to be like the five young foolish women that showed up late to the bridegroom's ceremony. You know, the doors are shut, the gates are locked. We're not on the inside, we're on the outside. We can hear the, the folks behind the doors having a good time, celebrating, but that's not us because we were foolish. We were not prepared. So the, uh, I guess the simple question tonight is, are you prepared? If you're not, you need to make a change. If there's anything we need to do for you, if it needs to be baptism or the prayers of the church, please come now as we stand and sing. Use thy spirit banner to ye and pride. that very much glad to know you've been to up to some good in Tennessee there hope things continue well for you 247 will be our closing hymn in a moment 247 we'll do um, all three stanzas of this before our closing prayer <clears throat> here we are but straight pilgrims here our path is often dim but to cheer us on our journey still we sing this way Yonder over the rolling river where the shining mansion thrice soon will be our home forever and the smile of the blessed giver gladdens all our longing eyes. Here our feet are often weary on the hills that throng our way. Here the tempest darkly gathers, but Father, thank you for this church. Thank you for 
allowing us to be able to gather here together and praise you. Lord, please be with all the sick that couldn't join us here tonight. We ask a special prayer, a prayer on the uh, Horn family. Lord, be with all of those that are away from us right now, traveling for vacation and various other reasons. Help them get back to us safely. Lord, thank you for your son. God, guard and direct us until the next point of time. In Christ's name, amen.